Hello, this is Amjad El Mandelawi from Baghdad, Iraq, showing a case where both physiological assessments and imaging were needed to guide intervention. The case is a 70-year-old man with stable angina on exertion, referred for assessment of his coronaries. Angina persisted despite PCI to critical CERC three months before. He is diabetic, not hypertensive, and non-smoker. This is the allo view of the RCA shows a plaque at the mid part that does not seem to be critical. The RIO view shows the same lesion. This is a picodal view of the left coronary system shows a patent long stent in the circumflex. There is a plaque in the proximal and mid part of the LID. So multiple views are needed to assess intermediate lesions. This is a epicranial view. The mid LID lesion does not seem to be critical. And this is RIO codal view shows the mid LID lesion to be more critical, but is still in the range of intermediate lesion. And here it's about 50 to 60% at the mid part and 40% for the proximal part. So to assess the hemodynamic significance of intermediate lesion, physiological assessment and studies are required. The most commonly used tests are the FFR, which needs hyperemia, usually by adenosine, and the other one is the IFR, which does not require hyperemia. In essence, both measure the ratio of a pressure distal to the lesion compared to the aortic pressure and both tests have been validated in clinical trials. For FFR, the cutoff value is 0.8. Anything equal or less than 0.8 is considered significant and need treatment, while the cutoff value of IFR is 0.89, and there are some other details about these numbers. We had FFR system in our cath lab and decided to use it on both arteries. For the, FF, for the RCA, it was 0.9, which is clearly non-significant. And for the LID, it was 0.79. Although it was significant, but it was near the cutoff value. So we decided to use the IVAS, which had have the additional value of assessing the anatomy. So IVAS is important to assess anatomy and FFR to, to assess physiology. For IVAS, it can show the plaque morphology and plaque extension. It assess incising the vessel and with PCI, it can assess optimization and if any complication that appear. This is the IVAS pullback of the LID. Distally is clear. Here the atherosclerotic plaque start and this is the most critical part at the mid part of the LID. And with further pull pullback, we can see the plaque extension into the proximal part with some calcification. You see here is a, it looks also, also, also looks critical at the mid part and proximal part. The osseal LID, there is also a plaque. And here we can see the carina and the plaque extending into the left meniscus, but that is widely patent. So the lesion was predilated, and here we can see positioning of a stent that is 3.5 by 34 millimeter. And this is the result after stenting. It looks pretty good. But the IVAS showed that this, there is some stent under expansion, although it is opposed, but it's under expanded. So it was post dilated by NC Ballon 3.5. And here is the final result. And it looks good. So the messages are that physiological studies are important to assess the significance of intermediate lesion and can guide the treatment options. And when this is combined with imaging studies, it can result in optimal treatment. And thank you.